Okay, an insider just dropped some amazing information on some unannounced Xbox games that are in development. These aren't first-party studios, I might add, but third-party games that Xbox has locked down as exclusives. Let's get into these leaks because there's a lot here, and it's starting to become pretty obscene about how many games Xbox is truly making, especially with third-party studios. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified on future content, make sure to hit that small little bell icon. It helps out the channel a lot. And like I said before, I just put the join button on the channel. People have requested to support my channel a little bit more and wanted to give back to it. And I have to say that it was extremely humbling. So if you want to support the channel even more, hit that join button. You'll get custom emojis and you'll get custom badges near your name. It really helps you stand out in the chat. And honestly, I appreciate it so much. But let's dive into this leak by Clobriel, who decided to drop a couple of bombs when it comes to the Xbox Studios publishing. If you don't know who Clobriel is, well, let me fill you in. He's an insider with a lot of information. He's dropped a lot of cool Xbox information in the past and has been correct on multiple fronts. So when he goes to Twitter on some forum dropping some knowledge, it tends to make the news cycle fairly easily. And that's exactly what he did when he talks about Xbox Game Studios Publishing, which is the team that signs third-party deals with developers. This is the studio that helps nurture studios outside of the Xbox first party, so they're the studio behind games like the IO Interactive and Avalanche games like Contraband. Yet with these new leaks, it seems they've gotten a brand new budget to play with because there's so many games coming. But let's get into what Clobrio had to say because there's a lot to talk about here. Here's what he first talked about. Xbox Game Studios Publishing is doing work. Trying to summarize the rumors a bit here. Nothing here is coming from me, just trying to bring things together. Xbox players eating good with such an insanely diverse lineup on top of your own 23 studios. Project Belfry, Stoic Studios, side-scrolling action game, development state unknown, likely not very early anymore given Banner Saga 3 released in 2018. Side-scrolling action game slash brawler similar to Dragon's Crown. Art has Princess Monoke vibes. The Belfry Bell Tower functions as your base. Craft items, upgrade gear. Okay, so the first thing I have to say is that Xbox's publishing team is doing a lot of work here. You can tell they've got a massive influx of funding to help expand their reach to other developers. And that reach goes to Stoic Studios, who have made games like Banner Saga 1 and 2 and 3. Now, to be frank, this isn't a massive studio. In fact, they're about 45 people deep and have made some pretty cool indie games, if you ask me. I've played Banner Saga before, but didn't play the third iteration. I have to say they're very talented, but I've been learning how to make games with their last couple of games. Games. Could they be a small studio that Xbox works with and loves their culture? Maybe, but it's cool that they see them and that they're making a game for Xbox. Yet this one is one of the smaller titles from Xbox and one of the smaller ones they're locking down. So let's get into the next one. Project Dragon IO Interactive, fantasy RPG with multiplayer slash co-op. Very early in production, incredibly ambitious project, dream project by some core IO Interactive devs, co-op aspects, dungeons. Okay, what can I say that hasn't been said before about this game? This is the IO Interactive game that has been rumored for the last year or so. This is a game that a lot of people know about, and it's basically the worst kept secret in gaming at this point. Everyone knows that Xbox has been in talks with IO Interactive for some kind of game, and this dated back to before E3 2021, where people thought Xbox was going to purchase the studio as a whole. Yet now we know it's just them working on an Xbox game, and that game is Project Dragon. But Cloverio puts some more details into the game. We see that it's a fantasy RPG and is a multiplayer co-op driven game. The best part about this is that IO Interactive is going for an incredibly ambitious project. That to me speaks volumes. We know they make high production games like Hitman and those games have done very well for them apparently. It was just reported a few weeks ago that they had one of their best financial years to date and that they're expanding their studios. Not just the main team, but they're also making another AAA team apparently. I think that the success of Hitman and the influx of money Microsoft has given them to make this fantasy RPG is a reason why they're expanding so much. To me, this sounds like the quintessential Xbox testing hub that we've talked about earlier. They want to work with the developers and see what they make and see if they fit the culture of Xbox to join the Xbox Game Studios. You don't flood a studio with this much money if you don't see a long future with them. But now let's go into the next game. Contraband Avalanche Studios co-op heist game in the middle of production, not early anymore, exploring the fictional Southeast Asian world of 1970 Bayan. Online action game where players plan out and execute heists in teams of four. Also includes car combat, 
brought to life by the latest iteration of Avalanche Studios Group's Apex engine and built to take full advantage of the Xbox Series S and X. Okay, we saw this game announced in E3 2021 and it was met with a lot of people being excited, yet we have had very little details about the game and what it was about. We knew it was a multiplayer game and that was pretty much it. But now we know it's in the middle of production, which means they're probably a year to a year and a half, maybe two years away from release. I expect this game to be shown next year, much like Redfall was shown at E3 this year. It's set in Southeast Asia during the 1970s. Now, the four player co-op sounds awesome to me because you know it's going to be a multiplayer focused game. I like that there's combat because Avalanche made the car combat in Mad Max, but also Rage 2, which to me had some of the best combat I've ever seen in a vehicle in a game. This is a very talented studio, and they've been heavily rumored to be one of the studios Xbox is going to be buying out. They have a great relationship with not only Xbox, but Bethesda. So don't be surprised if they join Xbox fairly soon, or if this game comes out and it's a success, Xbox brings them into the fold. Especially when you see that Colobrio said they built their Apex engine to take full advantage of the Xbox Series X and S consoles. That to me shows they've worked closely with Xbox to help make their console. Which if you pay attention, Xbox only does that with people they truly have a great relationship with. Bethesda was one of those developers that always talked about the console and how they helped shape it. Before they were even brought into the Xbox first party fold, they always had Todd Howard or somebody from Bethesda on screen talking about the new console. So keep an eye out for this one because I think Avalanche Studios has a lot going for them right now. But let's go into the next game, which is massive. Project Shaolin, Brass Lion Entertainment, Wu-Tang theme action RPG. Third person melee oriented RPG complete with four player co-op. The campaign is planned to run for a couple of dozen hours complete with a rich end game compromise of seasonal content drops and other updates able to obtain loot, weapons, gear, and so on in both procedural endgame dungeons and more tailor-made events. It appears that legendary hip-hop group Wu-Tang Clan themselves will be heading up the game's soundtrack. Brass Lion co-founder Manveer Hire recently put a tweet looking for potential hires to work on an upcoming unannounced action RPG with an anime aesthetic. Okay, I know I butchered that guy's name, but let's move on. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. This game has been something that's basically come to life in the last several days to weeks. This Wu-Tang game seems to be on everyone's mind lately. Even in my DMs, people are asking me about this thing. And now Clobriel has a massive leak about it with some great details. The first thing I want to say is this sounds like a third person RPG in the form of like a Destiny or Division. I say that because they talk about endgame content and having a complete looting system. He mentions that you can loot weapons, gears, and so forth. Not to mention, he talks about procedurally generated dungeons, which actually reminds me of Diablo, a game where the end game is all about procedurally generated dungeons. So that might be something we could see happen in this game. I love that it's a four player co-op game because like I've said multiple times on here, co-op is my favorite way to play games. So this game sounds pretty cool to me and it's extremely unique to see a Wu-Tang based game come to life. That's so random yet so cool. I have a feeling that the soundtrack is going to be pretty on point with the action. I'm very interested in this game for not only the four player co-op, but also the unique take it could have in the gaming world. Let's hope it knocks it out of the park. And I think this is one of those games that Xbox just kind of saw, thought was cool and funded it. So let's see what it does. Now you would think that's all of the leaks we have, but nope, we have a couple more to go through. So let's start with the next game. Project Indus, Oxide Games, four time strategy game, turn-based strategic elements alongside city building, empire, advancement, espionage, diplomacy, warfare, and so on. I wouldn't be surprised if Project Indus is heavily designed with cloud platforms and smaller screens in mind too, using Microsoft's cloud-aware user interface APIs. In blog posts, the studio seems to be very excited about this new project. The studio's latest game released in 2016, so the Project Indus should be far into development. This is something I've talked about before. We heard about Project Indus coming from Oxide Games before. It's a four-time strategy game that I'm personally excited for. I just finished Age of Empires 4 to review, and I loved every second of it. Strategy games are something I truly enjoy as a gamer, so I'm looking forward to this turn-based strategy game. Now, I don't expect this game to set the world on fire. Strategy games tend to never do that, so I expect it to be a game I enjoy on my own, while other people might find it a lot of fun if they give it a chance. But I do have to say that Civilization's aspect of this game could draw in a bigger PC crowd, something that Xbox is trying to do with these games. They don't want to just bring in the console gamers. They want to bring in every type of gamer into their ecosystem, and this game is just a piece of that puzzle to bring people to Xbox Game Pass on PC. But now let's go on to the last game. Project Pax Die. 
Mainframe Industries Cloud First MMORPG. This MMO will scale in complexity based on how you're accessing the game. Building the game we've been practicing for our whole lives, mixing the best of AAA MMO and mobile gaming into a social sandbox playable on any screen. It's the game of a lifetime. Now, this is the one game in the league that I'm actually pretty excited about. I know it's not a game most people would enjoy, but I'm a massive MMO gamer. I've played pretty much every single MMO you can think of, at least most of them. And I have to say, I've been waiting for a new MMO for a very long time. I know New World came out, and I think because of that game, Xbox has decided to make this game. Amazon's success with New World is going to push Xbox to make a competing game. I have a feeling this might just be that game. Yet I have to be honest, I don't know much about the studio, so I don't know what type of game they're capable of making. I did some research on them, but I didn't find anything concrete, so their history is a little suspect. Now what has me thinking this isn't going to compete with New World is the fact that they have this game that they want to make in the cloud, where you can play it in the cloud and on any screen. That's where I think this might be something that's trying to leverage the cloud Microsoft has with their Azure servers, but also the gaming aspect with Game Pass. Maybe, just maybe, it's to get the mobile crowd to join Xbox Game Pass subscriptions with a AAA quality game on the mobile phone or on the tablet. Either way, I'll refrain from saying much about the game until I see it, but I'm excited for it. And that's everything in the leak, I have to admit, there's a lot there. Xbox Game Studios Publishing has obviously gotten a massive influx of money to lock down new AAA games from every single developer they can talk to. It shows that Xbox doesn't just have their first party studios to work with. Instead, they'll use those 23 studios to make high quality experiences, but also bring in other third party studios to make exclusive games. We truly might enter a time where Xbox will release four or six high quality AAA games a year, not to mention the other smaller AA and single A games they bring out. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Xbox aim for one game a month on the Xbox Game Pass service. They want people subscribed to the service, and they want people to join Xbox's platform no matter what. And after seeing this leak, I believe that even more. So let's hope we get to see these games soon, and let's hope Xbox has some more secrets up their sleeves because this is starting to get insane, and I can see them announcing even more games. But let me know what you think about all of these leaks. Are you surprised by the amount of games Xbox is making? Which game has you the most excited? Will you see even more third-party deals coming can you see any of these studios join xbox what other games do you want xbox to make go down below and let me know and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please hit that subscribe button and that like button to support us off the channel more than you know and give me a follow on twitter at zalker87 i'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos plus i love interacting with everyone there so get on twitter and let's talk about gaming also follow me on xbox live my gamer tag is zalker87 just like my channel name see what games i'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month and so right now i've been playing a lot of games obviously i'm jumping into guardians of the galaxy the game is insane i'm loving every second of it it's one of the best looking games i've ever seen i'm also playing a lot of far cry 6 and just jumping into all these other games that are coming onto game pass and on my xbox series x i haven't played my ps5 in a while because there hasn't been anything on there that's really drawn me to it no exclusives yet so we'll see when those things start dropping next year but let me know what you're playing are you playing something on your series x are you playing something on your ps5 or are you playing something on your pc let me know down below because that's what we're here for it's to talk games and again i have to say thank you so much to everybody that joined the channel remember to hit that join button if you want to give the channel a little bit more support it's very humbling to me and so many people requested that i do that and i have to say that i'm going to try to put some more money into it so you guys can get more emojis and all these other badges i really appreciate this and thank you so much for the support honestly it's humbling and that's all for now thanks for watching and until next time remember enjoy your gaming Later.